Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is for the Subaru Legacy RS 1990 all-wheel drive because um, I ain't done an all-wheel drive tune for a while and I have actually missed drifting it to be honest with you. So um, I've just done this. It's got the uh, 6.2 litre V8 engine swap in it, uh, drive train all-wheel drive and uh, twin turbo stuck on it I believe. Yes it is. But um, like I say, this is one of them cars, what I saw on the, uh, what's new to the game on DLC. So uh, I decided to get it and it's pretty good to be honest with you, it's pretty good. It's, um, like I say, it's like the, uh, one of the cars that I've got. It's really nice to drift, but I wouldn't use it in a drift battle sort of thing. But it is nice just to um, play around with and have a laugh. Which, um, which we'll be doing with it. And um, like I say, it's really sweet to drift. It's got tons of power, and uh, you don't always need all that power, but I decided to whack it all in just for the sake of putting it all in. Because we've probably got away with only using about 600, but like I say, it's a rather have power than not have power. So um, it's always easier to let your finger off. It's always easier to let go of the trigger than it is to fucking try and find power out of your gears, which sometimes you can't do. So, um, yeah guys, just show you everything what's on it, and uh, then we'll jump to tuning set up, and um, have a laugh. And stock tyres, as always, and stock width on all-wheel drive, and stock width on back, because you don't need them, whatever rims, whatever size you want. Uh, body kit, um, on this you can either have the Subaru or the Forza, I wouldn't go for the Forza one because it creates more downforce, so I'd rather Subaru or stock. But um, you can stick the Forza one on if you want, but you will notice a big change in your handling. But that's entirely up to you guys, what you want it to look like. But um, yeah, max that tyre pressure. Uh, gearing, I didn't have to touch gearing on this, which was quite strange, but I um, didn't have to touch gearing. And uh, full negative camera to give it that stance, what we've always wanted. And uh, it looks pretty nice. Uh, anti rolls, I ain't got them in, so no point in looking at them. Uh, springs, that's uh, my springs. Then uh, move on to some uh, dampening. But, um, yeah, sorry if I'm going a little bit quick through all these guys. If I am, you'll have to uh, kind of let me know. And uh, next time round when I do a video, I shall slow it down. So um, you can see it a lot better. But on this, it's like your final drive, or no, your balance, should I say. It works good between 76 and 83. Um, just have it to what you prefer. But like I say, try it between 76 and 83 uh, if you don't like the 80%. And uh, it does work fine on that range. So uh, give that a go and it'll give it a whirl. But yeah, guys. Um, Thank you for watching. I'm going to jump back over here where I like to do my testing and do some drifting. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and peace.